Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to use the new YubiKey 5CI to secure accounts with two factor authentication on your phone. So let's get going. Yubico just uh, released this new key, and it's compatible with a Lightning connector on your phone. It also has a USB-C connector on the other side. So I thought I would give it a shot, try it out, and see if it'll work on our Google account using our phone. So let's jump right in. All right, so uh, this is the article that uh, I had read earlier. And it talks about two-factor authentication in general and then gives you some data on different types of uh, hacking attacks and uh, how different types of two-factor authentication can prevent against those types of attacks. So we can see here uh, the knowledge base challenges are pretty low, right? So if you're uh, securing your accounts by a secondary email address or a phone number, uh, or your last login location, uh, these are all fairly weak. And th these are prevention rates, right? So only 10% of the bulk phishing attacks were prevented by a last sign-in location security. And now we go over here to device-based challenges, where we've got the on-device prompt, the SMS code, and then uh, the security key. Now you'll notice that the security key, which is this little guy, is 100% effective against all these attacks. Automated bot, bulk phishing attack, even the targeted attack. So this is your number one uh, prevention for people hacking into your account. All right? So this is the way to go. The only drawback to this way, it's right here on this device, right? You can't lose the device. Now there are backup ways to recover your account if you happen to lose this device. They're uh, inconvenient, but not impossible. So don't think that if you lose the device, you'll lose access to the account forever uh, because you can call their tech support and generally prove to them that you are who you say you are. Uh, but if you wanna secure your account against all types of hacks, this is the way to go, all right? So enough said about that. Let's uh, go ahead and continue where we were with our phone. All right, so I can't enter, I can't use this key, add this key uh, from within the Google app yet. The Google uh, Gmail app does not support the uh, Lightning Connector uh, device yet. So they, they better get on that, right? So I have the 1Password app, which I use all the time, uh, desktop and iOS version. They sync up to each other. They're encrypted. They store your passwords. It's one of the greatest inventions since sliced bread as far as I'm concerned for someone that, when you have to manage multiple accounts and who doesn't, right? Uh, so uh, the one password app launches from my phone. It's protected by uh, Face ID, but uh, we want to make sure that uh, it is fully secured. And so I want to use this YubiKey to secure my 1Password iOS account. So in order to set this up, uh, it's going to be a little tricky. We can't really do it in the app on the phone, right? We need to add the key in the uh, desktop version. And so in order to do that, uh, we're going to use the USB-C side of the key, right? So it has two sides. It's got the lightning connector and it has the USB-C connector, uh, but they both uh, are the same key, basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into my 1Password account in my web browser, going to get logged in, and then I'm going to enable two-factor authentication, and then I'm going to add the security device. And then the next time that we launch our phone-based, it's going to uh, request the key and then I'll use the key on this side uh, to auth authenticate my phone. All right, so uh, let's jump into that. So I'm logging into my account. Uh, I've logged into my account before, so I don't need all of that extra stuff. I just need my uh, master password. All right. And now that I have access to the account through my web browser, I have access to the two-factor authentication settings. 
So I'm going to go over here to uh, my name. I'm going to hit my profile. I'm going to go over here to more actions and choose manage two-factor authentication. First, I need to turn it on. Right, and I'm going to use my Google Authenticator app. Whoops, to scan this, we need to add uh, Google Authenticator first. So I'm going to hit Authenticator. I'm going to hit the plus symbol there and choose Scan Barcode. Right, and then I'm going to bring it up very carefully and scan that QR code, which it did. Right, and then down here at the bottom, you can see that I have a one password authenticator code. Right, and then I also have this backup code here, which uh, would be a good idea to get uh, backed up. Now that's the code that if I lose my phone, I can re-enable uh, Google Authenticator on a new phone. Right, so that's very important. So uh, I'll just hit next now, and then it wants the code from my Google Authenticator. So we've got that over there. Zero, whoops. 037459, confirm. All right, uh, okay. All right, so now it's asking me to re-log into the account using uh, the two-factor authentication. So uh, I just need to re-enter it again from the phone. So uh, we got that. I'll let this one cycle through. All right, nine four zero six four six. I'll hit confirm. All right, so now I've got the Authenticator app. Now I'm going to add my security key. So I'm going to have to connect it to the USB-C connector on my computer. So uh, let's hit Add Security Key. I'm going to enter a name for it. All right, there we go. Hit Next. Uh, okay, so now it wants me to enter the security key and touch it. Okay, <laughs> a little tricky. Uh, so uh, I touched it uh, on that metal piece and then it recognized the key. All right, so we'll hit done. And there it is. So I've got that YubiKey5C enabled on my 1Password account. Now what I want to do is attempt to log into my 1Password account uh, from my phone and see what happens. Now I'm going to need to take it out over here. All right, and so I have it in my hand. Uh, I've got the lightning connector facing forward. And let's hit uh, one password and see what happens. There, now it's asking me to enter my key. So I'm going to do that. If you can see this, you can see it on the screen too, but I'm gonna enter the lightning connector in the bottom of my phone. Now it wants me to touch the key. I told you there's those metal uh, you can see there's like a light there and there and there we go so there now I've got that key installed uh, and it uh, secured my 1Password account using my phone connector pretty cool alright so uh, let's take it out here and let's quit I'm going to do this I just want to see if it asks me every time that might, uh... all right, it, it seemed like a one-time thing, right? So I'm not gonna need to carry that key around with me everywhere I go. But if I get a new phone and I attempt to log into my 1Password account on my new phone, it's going to need this device to secure, which is great. You know, that means that uh, no one can log into my account from anywhere unless they possess this device. It also means that I have to be very careful not to lose this device, uh, but I'm a big boy. I think I can handle it. All right, so uh, that's it. There's not a lot of uh, full support yet for this. Um, the Google app doesn't support it yet, but it should. Uh, and then, uh, but this is a great way to secure your accounts uh, on your phone. This is the first device that I'm aware of that allows you to uh, authenticate a device on your phone. So uh, it's the next step in security. Uh, I'll do more videos on using this device to log into different accounts. I know Brave Browser also supports this, but uh, we need to find the right uh, website 
that it needs two-factor uh, security key in order to test it out. So one password fit the bill for this demo. Uh, if you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. Don't forget I have a live stream every Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please join me for Live from Michigan where you can throw out questions on the fly and I'll do my best to get them answered right then and there. I hope to see you there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.